And the law of the mirror simply states, you must see value in yourself and add value to yourself. This is a huge principle because with the law of the mirror is a lot like the law of the lid in the leadership lessons. You'll never go above your self-image. So if your self-image is a three or a four, you're going to perform at a three or a four. Sure, there's going to be times you might rise above it a little bit, but what will happen is you're going to self-sabotage yourself and you'll go right back down. The good news is I'll give you a couple of hints on how you can build up this self-image of yours. This isn't about narcissism or, or ego. As a matter of fact, as a drill instructor, we're really trained to search out ego and narcissism in Marine recruits and kind of, you know, rip it out and replace that with self-confidence because self-confidence will take you a lot further. So what I'm saying is this. If you put yourself out there and you're willing to fail, you can build your self-confidence. Now, what do you mean willing to fail? Anything in life, what happens is you move out, you fail, you analyze, you get yourself back up, you move a little bit further, you fail again, you analyze, you get yourself back up, you move a little bit further. If you do that, you're going to build up your self-confidence and you will build, a, in turn, build your self-esteem and your own self-image. You know, if you think about it, songwriters, uh, musicians, ball players it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. There's years of practice and sweat and multiple failures in order for them to become an overnight success. It is just the way the world is. Now let's take a look in the mirror. The view of yourself determines your behavior. How you view yourself totally permeates your entire being on whether or not you're helpful and altruistic or whether or not you're reserved and cautious and fearful. The value that we put on ourselves is the value that others will put on us. That's right. How you see yourself is how other people will see you. If you see yourself as a unique human being with all these potentialities built into you to go out and conquer the world, that's what other people will see. But if you see yourself as this little reserved failure or something else like that, that's exactly how people will see you. I like this quote by John Maxwell says, if you place a small value on yourself, rest assured the world will not raise the price. <laughs> So the only person to put a value on yourself is going to be you. So let's look at some steps that we can use to build our self-image or self-esteem. Guard your self-talk. This is probably the most destructive. Your thoughts regarding yourself and other people either builds you up or it tears you down, which means that you have to choose what you think about yourself. I said that right. You have to choose what you think about yourself. Do you choose the negative image, the negative viewpoint of yourself? Or do you choose to think positive about yourself? Think about the things that you've overcome. Stop comparing yourself to anyone. Now, I'm not talking about inspiration. People, there's different people, a lot of different people that inspire me. But I don't compare myself to them. See, I, I know I am unique, just as you're a unique individual. And you have your own strengths and your own weaknesses. If I start comparing my weaknesses to somebody's else, somebody else's strengths, I'm going to lose. If I start comparing my strengths to somebody else's weakness, I'm going to lose. You lose either way. You are so unique and you got so much to give and offer within your own potential. Stop worrying about other people. Add value to others. You know, in the young Marines, this is probably the easiest one. Because for young Marines, as you, uh, as you grow in rank, you add value to those of a junior grade. 
you coach, you mentor them, you show them things that, you know, they think, wow, he's so cool. You know, I, I want to be like him when I'm a gunnery sergeant, when I'm a master sergeant, well, you know, whatever the case may be, that's great. You're inspiring people and you're adding value to them. Now, as registered adults, we're doing the same thing. We're coaching, we're mentoring our senior and our advanced young Marines. And we're just all given to each other and, and you get to feel all the good feels. Move beyond your own self-limiting beliefs. <laughs> if you think you can't, then you can't. You, you just have to move beyond it. You have to move beyond that terror barrier. I'm not talking, I'm talking about realistically. I mean, have some self-awareness. I got self-awareness. I'm never gonna be a ballerina. I get that, I, I accept that, okay? But there's so many other things that I can do that I have potential at that if I let fear guide me, I'll never attempt. I'll never get there. Do the right thing even if it's hard. Oh, man. Doing the right thing can really make you feel good. It can really build your self-image. You know, sometimes... It's as simple as holding the door open for an adult that's going into the restaurant. Even me, when I hold a door open for maybe a female at the 7-Eleven or something, you know, they smile because they're just not used to that. People actually caring about other people and just doing, it's just doing the right thing. You know, sometimes doing the right thing isn't going to be that easy. Sometimes it's going to be hard and it's going to be awkward. But you still got to do the right thing if you want to build yourself up, if you want to improve your character. Practice a small discipline daily. Now, <laughs> hey, Chip, I'm not talking about brushing your teeth. That's just good hygiene, okay? You understand what I'm talking about? Something that, where you stretch yourself. Maybe, well, for some of you, it might be making your bed every morning. Uh, for other people, it might be uh, journaling, you know, writing in a journal when you conquered those negative thoughts. You know, what did you think about in order to conquer them? What positive thing did you put in your head? And just journal, take five minutes out during the day and, you know, at night before you hit the rack or whatever and journal, you know, how you overcame a thought. You know, how did you add value to somebody? Um, those are great things to journal about. Mm, celebrate small victories. I know we celebrate the big victories, right? Those are, those are pretty easy. But what you have to understand, the only way you come about the big victories are these little small victories that led you up the path because success is actually a habit pattern. So what you want to do is you want to celebrate the small victories, the little small things that you, you don't think are such a big deal. Celebrate those so you can reinforce in yourself the habit pattern of success. Embrace a positive image for your life. Man, every day, every day you need to think, um, am I going to think negative about myself? Am I going to think positive about myself? Do I think I'm defeated or do, you, do I think I can overcome? And this is kind of huge, too. It's kind of a little bit esoteric, but if you think about it, in leadership, if you just think about leadership for a second, if, if I give uh, a regimental commander responsibility for a regiment, then I also have to give him the authority to carry out his responsibilities. So responsibility and authority come hand in hand. So if you take responsibility for your life, then you give yourself the authority to change. You give yourself the power to change. The minute you blame it on something else, the weather, you know, my mom didn't pack my boot bands, whatever the case may be, you take away, the minute you take away that responsibility for your life, you're also taking away your authority to change, to lead yourself. So all comes down to this, which mirror are you looking into? Are you looking into the broken, glass mirror that's all nasty and doesn't have any potential and is really good for nothing? Are you looking at to the mirror that shows your potential, that shows what you can be? Yeah, you got to take stock of where you're at. Absolutely. 
But your main focus, your main thought is, where are you going? One of the biggest things I ever got taught in the Marine Corps is that every Marine has a goal, right? So what's your goal for yourself? Where do you want to self-lead yourself? Awesome. I kept it to like 10 minutes. Hey, this is uh, Gunny Jackson again. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. appreciate the comments. I see them flowing up through there and all the likes, the smiley faces. Keep engaged, please. Uh, engagement is really important to me because that way I can see what people like and what people don't like. And if I'm heading in the right direction, the wrong direction. This uh, coming Sunday, I got, I got Mr. Chip Weber, who's the regimental commander for Oak Regiment. He's going to be on with me, and he's going to tell us about the Bataan Memorial Death March. I think it's going to be a cool thing to start seeing what some of our units are doing. So thanks again. Gunny's out.